Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. We are doing our chakra horoscope for this week, the week of April 19th, 2021. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing swimmingly. Welcome to a new week. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. To all the new subscribers, um, thank you so much for tuning in and joining the journey. My name is Adrian from Red Lentil. I am, I guess this is Red Lentil Healing. Um, to the existing subs, thank you for just being there <laughs> and for going on this ride with me. Um, and just thank you for continuing to come back. I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. To um, all of the channel, to people who've donated to my channel, whether it's be it via a um, super chat when I've done a live or just um, donations through PayPal, thank you so very much. I pray that generosity is returned to you tenfold immediately. Um, to people who just continue to support Red Lentil Healing by booking services or buying products. Thank you again so very much. It is such a passion for me to help to heal. That is part one of my contracts that I signed before I came down into this earthly body form. So thank you for helping me fulfill my contract and thank you for the support. Okay. All of my, I just wanted to just start that off with a, a heart chakra full of gratitude respect and appreciation to all of you. So thank you so very, very much. Okay, let's get into our weekly horoscope. So the first card we are getting today is third eye chakra with this visualization. Visualization is all about using our imagination, our focus to help manifest. Is using our imagination and our focus to help manifest, help in the process of manifestation. I love doing visualization exercises with clients. A lot of times we say we want, we need, we want to manifest something and we'll go through all of these, these steps of trying to manifest it. But here's where there may be a little bit of a block or disconnect. Have you ever sat in the space of what it feels like, smells like, tastes like, sounds like to have whatever it is that you're wanting, whatever the thing you're trying to manifest. Have you sat in that space? Have you visualized what your life will be like, what you will be like in that space? What is it like to have that thing, that whatever it is you're trying to manifest? Visualization helps you do that. It helps you be in that moment. It does a couple different things. Number one, raises your vibration to match the vibration of the thing that you're manifesting. So you're sitting in that actual frequency, that vibe. By sitting in that vibe, it also helps you, it, it brings, it makes it more realistic. It's there. You can see yourself there. It is there. It just becomes more real instead of just a fantasy, instead of just something that you're trying to achieve. You were there. You feel it, you taste it, you smell it, becomes more real. It's easier to help bring it to realization once you're there and you feel it. And the third thing too is it also helps you realize when you're in that space, there may be other things that you may need to work on or other things that you may need to add to the process of manifesting whatever it is you want. What does that mean? Okay, well, I want to be a rich successful blank and I'm taking all these steps to manifest it well what is it going to feel like when I'm a rich successful whatever okay am I actually happy in this space what does it feel or is there something that's missing are there other things that I need to bring along okay I've got all this money but you know I feel a little lonely now that I have it okay nothing wrong with that. That just means you may need to pivot your expectations or what things that you may need to bring. So instead of going, hey, I want to manifest this money, I also may need to manifest security and friendships and relationships with that as well. So once I get all this money, I don't feel lonely once I have it. Weird example, but you get what I'm talking about. I love the act of visualization when we're doing our, um, when we're manifesting how do you visualize? You sit, and again, it's part of the meditation. It doesn't take long. You just sit and sit with the space. 
use your imagination and your focus. The focus is the, um, the, I just, my brain just stopped. <laughs> the focus is the meditation part of the visual, of bringing into visualization. Clearly I'm passionate about visualization, so I went off on a tangent about that, but visualization, third eye chakra. This is so funny, emotional balance. I have pulled the emotional balance card four times um, over the weekend. <laughs> um, I pulled it for myself personally. I asked spirit, what is the uh, message for the weekend? Um, emotional balance. And then I'm asked, I, before I did this, I said, um, spirit, what is the message going into this week? All about emotional balance, this heart chakra. This is this is a lot of work that needs to happen. Stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. There's a lot going on right now, folks. There's a lot energetically going on right now. Even if you are not tuned into the news, even if you are in a bubble, I hate to say bubble, but let's just call it what it is, a sphere of people who are like-minded, this energy, the things that are going on in the world are still, that, that carries a frequency and a vibration and that still is going to impact certain people. You may even go, hey, I'm feeling this. Why am I feeling this? Or, are you feeling kind of tense? Or, you know, are you just having a hard time sleeping? Or, or maybe I'm sleeping too much. That energy is still finding its way to you because it's in the atmosphere. Emotional balance. Be fluid with it. Understand that emotions even especially if they're not yours, they're fluid. It's okay. Just as they came in, they will leave. Okay. Understand too with emotional balance is about stability. The stability is owning and sitting in that space where the emotions are. Once you recognize the rain exercise, once you recognize, accept, um, do some investigation with that, the first three letters of rain, you go, okay, this is emotional energy. Recognizing it, accepting it can help bring some stability because you've recognized it, you've accepted it, and you can start to investigate if this is your emotion or if it's not. It can also bring peace and fluidity once we help maintain this emotional balance. Again, recognizing it. Is this, are these emotions mine? And if they are, are they valid? Where are they coming from? And once you can do that, the outcome is going to be peace and it's going to be a little bit of harmony. You're going to be able to just breathe. Heart chakra, finding that emotional balance that has been, again, fourth time I've pulled this card this week. Um, so that's a big message. There's a lot going on. How do you find your emotional balance right now? Even if you just need to go inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth and let it go. Emotional balance. Last card we get is creativity with throat chakra. I've got a lot of throat chakra cards this weekend between clients and myself doing a reading for myself and mama earth energy. Got a lot of throat chakra, but this one in particular is about creativity. This is about imagination, expression, originality, and passion. Are you expressing yourself? Are you expressing yourself fully? Are you creative in how you're expressing yourself? Sometimes you need to tell somebody the unabashed truth, but you, instead of being scared of hurting their feelings so you just don't say it, you may need to find a creative way to say it. That is all about throat chakra and creativity. Um, you may need to go out, and if your throat chakra is as some people say, blocked or closed, or I call it out of balance, a little undercharged, go sing a really, go make up a song and sing it out loud. Uh, create a, sing a song that has an existing song that has meaning to you. Find creative ways to express yourself. That also goes really in line with this emotional balance card too. Find creative ways to talk about whatever emotions you're feeling. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Maybe you need to find some creative ways to express the emotions that you're feeling. But all of this is all about that throat chakra energy. It's all really down to expression. How are you creatively expressing yourself? Okay. 
So that's what we have for this week, third eye chakra visualization. We've got heart chakra with getting that emotional balance, finding that emotional stability, that harmony, and then expressing ourselves with creativity. Throat chakra. All right, let's get our spirit animal for the week. Um, I love, you know, I do different oracle cards every week to go with our chakra inside oracle. This one is the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Are you trying to manifest some stuff in your life? If so, now is a very lucky time, a very auspicious time to start putting things into action. Luck is on your side with the rabbit spirit. I love that. Go forth, be well, prosper. I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Until the next time, take care of yourself first. Then and only then can you effectively take care of your friends and family so then we can all collectively take care of Mama Earth. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.